Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to the first tutorial of 2021. So one of the trends I noticed last year in 2020 was a lot of people just started uploading Instagram reels and their TikToks and all this sort of stuff because we're all pretty much stuck at home. And so, hey, that's what people started doing. So I thought, hey, let's do a tutorial in DaVinci Resolve 17 on how to create an Instagram reel or TikTok, if you will, really quickly and yeah, export it so you can drop it on your phone and send it out into the world. So obviously the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is dump your footage, whether you took that on a camera, like the one I'm shooting on now, or your phone, you wanna send that over to your computer. So we're gonna jump over there and do that. All right, so here we are in DaVinci Resolve. So the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is import all that media that you just transferred to your computer from your phone or wherever it needs to be. So we're gonna to go to the desktop, we're gonna find folder, and we're gonna add it all now. I have gone ahead and downloaded some tunes for this particular reel as well. I use Artlist and this is the song that I'm using, Run No More by the Talbot Brothers. You can use whichever you want, but if you do want two months free on your membership, link in the description for Artlist. Anyway, plug it out of the way. Uh, change project frame rate. Currently we're gonna go don't change because we're gonna set it up ourselves. Cool, so that's all imported. What we're gonna wanna do now is go right click and go timeline, create new timeline. And we're gonna uncheck this use project settings one because it's just gonna use the default settings, which I think is 1920 by 1080. Cool. And we're going to change it here. And what we're going to do is reverse this. So instead of 1920 by 1080, we're gonna do 1080 by 1920. So 1080 on the horizontal, excuse me, and 1920 on the vertical. We are gonna do 24 frames a second because that's what these were filmed in. And we're just gonna go create. And straight away, we now have our vertical footage. What I'm gonna do now is going to shift select all of those bits of footage. I'm going to drag them all into the timeline. And then on my keyboard, I'm gonna hold option or alt if you're on Windows and just select the audio and delete it because I don't want it. This, for reels, it has to be uh, 15 seconds or I think it can be up to 30 seconds. So for this reel, because of the footage we've got, we've got about 42 seconds of footage. So we're probably not gonna be able to squeeze in a full 30 second reel just because we don't have a lot of like leap that like we'd have to use every single piece. So I'm just going to pretty much cut this together now and editing it like normal. So I'm gonna probably start with this one here. All right, so I'm gonna start with this clip and I think this one's good. Now I'm going to scale to fit. So we're just going to zoom them in and actually what I might do is I'm going to select them all and zoom them all in the same amount so that when we go across, they're all scaled correctly. All right, so we have this walking. So straight up, I think there's a little bit too much walking there. So I'm going to cut this bit here. And even there, like let's go with one foot and then we pan up and we've got Moraine Lake. And then I'm going to cut to, maybe not that one. Maybe this one here. So what we'll do is we'll move this one over here. And we're gonna have it, so we're gonna have it cut from that, from there, and we're going to bring that in, bring that over here. Again, this is like, it's pretty loosey goosey, you know, with Instagram Reels, it doesn't have to be super precise. You know, we're just creating a little, little travel video. And we're gonna go there. Cool, and I'll do a little transition there so it looks better. And we're gonna probably, let's go to there. What else have we got? Might end on this one, because I think this is really cool, this shot here. Um, I don't like that clip, so I'm actually gonna delete it. Doesn't really show off the blue very well. And I think this clip is nothing. So we're gonna delete that one as well. I'm gonna move this clip over here, this clip here. All right, let's. And what I might do, and then we have this one here to end off the reel. Beautiful, and I might even just add a fade out on that one there. Perfect. So now I'm gonna add my music into this, and we're just gonna play it from the start, to be honest, and I'm just gonna lower it a little bit. So I'm actually gonna skip the start of this song just because there's obviously there's, it's just a slow buildup when you don't have so much footage to work with and you're doing like real short form video, 
you want to skip that build up because you don't really have time for it. So we're going to start it there. Even that's like, let's cut that down a little bit. Even that's still a bit too, there we go. So I'm just sort of seeing how we can work this little cut in and if maybe bring that back. Yeah, that's a little bit better. And my cat wants to come in now. <laughs> So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna delete a bit of this middle video because what it's gonna do is give us a little bit of a beat. So delete that and now, yeah, perfect. And then I'm gonna cut the audio at the same point. Actually, I might extend the audio out just ever so slightly so I can fade it longer. Cool, and then that is the real, like so, so what we can do now is we can just, I guess, do a little bit of a, um, a little bit of a title. So I'll bring in a little mini title that we got. Let's just do like a, I don't know, like a digital glitch title. Nah, just something nice, you know. Mm -hmm -hmm. It's clean and simple. I like that. Let's do clean and simple. I'm going to do it over this bit, and we're going to center it. So we're gonna move it there. I'm gonna make it way bigger. And we're gonna just type Moraine Lake, because that's where we are. Hey, bring the size down just a little bit. Perfect. And I'm gonna change it to my favorite font because why the hell not? Make it go bold italic. Actually, I think it's urban here. Black or bleak. Perfect, bring it back up again. And then, now we can watch this through. Did I not, interesting. Okay, there we go. Cool. So all I need to do now is add this weird, this transition. So what we might do is just like a whip pan. So I'm sure we've got one here, pan to the right, which is exactly what we want. So I'm gonna chuck it on this clip here, shorten it in a little bit and then, uh, actually that looks terrible. Let's do slide right and we'll bring it in a little bit. There we go. Okay, so we need slide left. Perfect, now it's good. Now all I'm gonna do now is, now all I'm gonna do now, now all I'm going to do is add a quick adjustment clip over the top. I'm gonna to chuck a quick LUT on just so things look a little bit, I don't know, a little bit more fantasy-like. So we're gonna go over to our color tab and I think we're gonna do the Alice in Wonderland LUT on this one. And I'm only going to do probably, let's do like 70% of that LUT, kind of on and off. So it's just really accentuating those colors there. Perfect, awesome, that's it. Now we're just gonna export this clip. So it's really simple. We're gonna go with just the standard YouTube 1080p timeline. We're gonna go custom. We're gonna make sure that it is 1080. This is important by 1920. So we've got some consistency along the board and we'll name it. We're gonna go Moraine Lake Video. And we're gonna put that into wherever we wanna put that. Instagram Reels, render, save. And I'm gonna to add to render queue. And we're gonna spit that out. And it'll take a little bit of time. I'm gonna click space to play it. And you can see we have our vertical video. Very good. Now, if, uh, if you did find that you had a little bit of an issue, I've been on the forums, there is a little bit of a problem with exporting in DaVinci Resolve 17 at the moment, and even some people were mentioning it in DaVinci Resolve 16. If it's not playing on your iPhone, switch over to the H.265 option, should work then. And then, yeah, you can pretty much pump it out, and then if we go over here, you can have your reel playing on your phone, 
and ready to go for everyone out there. So as you can see, really simple tutorial. Anyone can do it and pretty easy to follow. Hopefully you enjoyed this first tutorial of 2021. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe if that is the case. And yeah, I'm gonna sit here and enjoy the rest of my coffee.